Hey, John, thanks so much for uh, your willingness to talk with us today about how your experience with this pandemic has been going. And we'd really just like for you to share a little bit about how it's affected you. Well, thanks, Carol. Up until this virus hit, life was really good. I have a good job and I'm doing meaningful work. Uh, my wife and I have had a sense of freedom. We have grown children and we do what we want, when we want. Uh, we're just enjoying each other. But the best part of all this is being new grandparents. And we never get enough of our first grandchild, Ava. And then, of course, those words and phrases came. Stay at home, quarantine, uh, social distancing. This life was, was so enjoyable, was being put on hold. And in some sense, it was just like being taken away from me. The true realization of what normal was, was no more. Routines, activities, consistency, all of it was gone. We even had to, to visit Ava through the window. Yeah, that, that does sound really difficult. I can't imagine having to visit your granddaughter through a window. It's just so hard. And I think that distance from family and friends is what so many of us are struggling with. So would you share a little about how your faith and your hope in Christ have impacted you during this time? One clear direction for me to create my new normal, I began to see this, this time as an opportunity rather than challenging times and spend more time seeking kingdom valued activities such as reading the bible or spending more time in his presence the physical world had no longer had that that daily influence over me because of such words such as quarantine or social distancing in a way it was like i was going back in time when when life was much simpler i still only have 24 hours a day but i am more aware of how i'm choosing to use it what is so neat about this time is that it coincided with the Lenten season. For me, it's an annual event where I'm reminded to reflect about my life and Jesus' journey to the cross. Being able to deliberately spend more time in chasing after God has been such a blessing. Yeah, I really appreciate you sharing all that. And I find it both challenging in my own walk with God and encouraging. So thank you for sharing that. Are there any other things that you would want to share with someone who's kind of feeling the same way that you were? I guess my encouragement for people would be as you work out what your new normal is, may Christ be at the center of it all. Hmm. Yeah, thank you again, John, for sharing. And thank you so much for that challenge, just to consider what our new normal is going to be. It's really uplifting.